This is K9WLW with another video. A topic that's come up in recent weeks is particular to OpenSpot users who like to transition between the Brandmeister DMR world and the TGIF DMR world. So uh, because of a recent requirement of which Brandmeister requires us to use a password to get into the Brandmeister network for security reasons. It's created a small conflict, if you will, uh, with OpenSpot users. And I'm going to demonstrate why that's a conflict and how to work around the conflict. The good news is, is the OpenSpot platform uh, allows you multiple profiles so that you can quickly switch from one profile to another. So I'm going to get into the profiles and I'm also going to show you a very rapid push to talk method of transitioning between the Brandmeister world and the TGIF world where you won't even have to use the dashboard after you've set it up properly, which is kind of nice. So maybe it's not the fix you're looking for, but it's a pretty good one and it works. And you don't have to use a dashboard, so I guess I'll call that a win-win-win. The long-term solution, if there is going to be one with the open spot, is the open spot needs to create a separate connector uh, for uh, the TGIF MMDBM world and the world of Brandmeister. <laughs> And I'll explain that in the video so you see why. Because this is not a problem in the Pi Star world. Uh, the switching between the networks in the Pi Star world is before the password. Unfortunately, OpenSpot didn't foresee this change in the Brandmeister world, so the switching between the two networks is done after the password. So when you use the Brandmeister password and try to manually switch to TGIF, you have to manually switch the password and so forth to go back and forth, which is kind of a clunky, clunky way to go. So I, after doing some uh, head searching here, I figured the best way to do it was to use separate profiles to transition between the two. And the good news is, is the OpenSpot platform allows five individual profiles. So switching between them is pretty easy when you see how this is done. I'll, I'll explain what I'm talking about. Okay, I am connected to a connector. Now remember, in the DMR world, there's two, two primary connectors. There's the homebrew slash M MMDVM, and there's the DMR plus dongle. Now, the world of Brandmeister is in the homebrew, the left side of the slash of the top connector, and the world of TGIF is buried in the MMDVM section to the right of the slash. Now, what probably long term would be helpful, and again, I don't know if this is something open spots of the future will do, is maybe they should have one connector for homebrew, one connector for MMDVM, and a third connector for DMR plus dongle, and that way you can set up each connector with its uh, required passwords and so forth. However, that's another discussion. Let's work with what we have. Now I'm using an OpenSpot 3. I'm currently connected to Brandmeister. I don't have an active taunt group. I've uh, done an unlinked 4000, so there won't be any radio traffic, but you can see that I'm connected to Brandmeister 3102. Now, many of us are probably used to switching back and forth between Brandmeister and TGIF by hitting this little radio button. See, this is the slash, if you will. This is the left of the slash. That's the right of the slash in the connector where you see the... Um, uh, oh, that's up here. My apologies. Um, remember, there's only two connectors and they kind of piled everything into the first connector homebrew MMDVM, and that slash would be the two dots, basically, as the bridge between. So, so we were used to tapping on the MMDVM, 
and then loading up the TGIF connector over here, like so. And then just loading it in and hitting the save, and then you would transfer over to uh, TGIF. Well, that worked beautifully for quite some time. The problem is, is you still have the server password. Now, this server password, which I will not show you, but it, trust me, this is my Brandmeister server password. It will prevent me from getting into the TGIF network. I can demonstrate it, but it really would waste your time. It will just keep saying, trying to connect a server, trying to connect a server, trying to connect a server, and I'm sure that you've already seen that, so no need for me to demonstrate that. So, rather then demonstrate that I'll show you how to create a separate profile and then how to jump between them quickly. Okay, let me reconnect to Brandmeister here. Hold on. Make sure I'm open spot connected to Brandmeister 3102. Okay, so that confirms audibly I'm connected to 3102. Okay, let's go to the network page which is where the configurations are. Or, I'm sorry, the settings page. My apologies. Let me reboot, refresh the browser here. The settings page. Okay. At the top of the settings page, you have your active... It shows my active profile as profile number one, which I named... DMR Brandmeister without the R because it ran out of space for storing the letter, but you get the idea. Now, down here, you can name the profiles whatever you want. I've named mine DMR Brandmeister for profile one, DMR TGIF for profile two. I actually set up profile three for DSTAR. I set up profile four for DMR to YSF, and I set up profile five for DMR to FCS. So four of these five profiles are usable with my DMR radio. And even though I could technically do a DMR to D-Star, I like my D-Star radios, so I kind of want to do them for D-Star straight through, if you will. But that's just my personal preference. But anyway, now, this is where you want to start creating the other profiles. A lot of us just did the first profile, set it up, and we just go everywhere we want to go with the one profile. Which is why we're now kind of in the pickle we're in with the TGIF's Brandmeister password issue. Again, worked beautifully. So I guess now is as good a time as any to learn how to create the other profiles. Well, the cool thing about the open spot is right below where you name and save the name of your various profiles. And you can do one at a time, two at a time, or all of them. The first thing I would do is you have right below the... Let's see, it would be right below the profile names where you store the names is a section called Copy. Now, what this allows you to do is you, you, you take your first profile, which is the profile you set up when you, op when you first... Pro, when you first set up the open spot. And you want to copy all that information to all the other profiles. And the open spot allows you to do this. And the way you do that is you start with the profile that you have, number one. You load up whatever profile you want to copy all the data to. Uh, so you would add two in the destination. And then you just hit the copy takes only a few seconds, then all the data transfers over to Profile 2. It'll transfer your call sign, it'll transfer your frequency, it'll transfer your Wi-Fi and everything over to the other profile. And then you can repeat that with Profile 1 as the source, and then put in Profile 3, hit Copy, wait for it to finish, hit Profile 4 in there, hit Copy, and wait for it to finish and do the same with five and that way you will have activated all five profiles with your Wi-Fi, your call sign, your DMR IDs, all of your information so you don't have to input them manually. Now, you want to dedicate no more than one profile to the TGIF because this is sort of a open spot 
Brandmeister TGIF glitch, and I wouldn't want to necessarily use the, one of the profiles for anything but the TGIF work through. That's my personal preference. Now, once you've saved that on the connectors page, okay, you can, you can manually switch between the active profiles by going, I'm sorry, to the settings page again. Up at the top, I'm in the active profile of one. Okay. Now, when I click over to the right, it lets me choose any of the other profiles. Here's my profile 2 for DMR TGIF. This is the dashboard method of switching. You then hit the change button down at the bottom because I've loaded two. And you have to wait a moment. Open spot profile 2 ready. Okay, it takes a moment to transfer over. Open spot connected to MMDVM server. Okay, so now it announced I'm connected to MMDVM. Now, the reason it let me in is because after you've copied, you want to go to the connectors page and you want to go down to this area where the uh, password is, the server password. You hit the little show, and you'll notice I've already changed the password. Now remember, because you copied your profile, it's going to copy your Brandmeister password to all the other profiles. So the only change I really need to make here on profile 2 is I need to change the password back to the default password that came out of the open spot originally. And that password is P-A-S-S-W-0-R-D. You can see I've already saved that before. Once you've changed it back to P-A-S-S-W-0-R-D, you go down to the bottom of the page and hit Save, and then it will allow you to go into the TGIF network. Okay. So, to prove that I'm connected to TGIF, you can see server address on the status page is showing... TGIF network. So I am connected to TGIF. No problems. You don't hear my hotspot squawking that is trying to connect. This shows on the status page that I'm connected. Okay. If I go to the tools page and I do a quick call to 777, hit the call button. Was. You'll see I'm getting traffic already. Yeah. So this is that scan but top group for TGIF scanning. Probably have your general before now, it's a little hard getting out with the push to talk. So here. fortunately, the open spot has a group call 4000. Like, and I got to refresh the browser to do it. Sorry, I tapped the screen in the wrong place. Group call 4000. Bingo. I'm out of the 777 scan group. Okay, so now I'm not in any talk group, but I am clearly in TGIF. Now, when I go back to the network page, I want to show you something. Or, I'm sorry, the settings page. Notice it says I'm in the profile 2. And again, I could manually switch by clicking number 1 and hitting say or change and it'll go back to profile 1. But you don't have to do that. Now that you have the password as password with the zero in profile two and the password in profile one, which you have set up for your Brandmeister, all you have to do is switch between the two profiles. Well, look right below where it shows the active profile. It says to change profiles using your radio, call these IDs. Slot one, which is profile one, is 9001. 2, 9002, 9003, 9004, 9005. Okay, what they mean, and I guess they could have explained that better. It's in the manual, but it's not really clear on this page. To jump between your five profiles when you're using your DMR radio in DMR modem mode, all you have to do is a private call to 9001, 9002, 9003, 9004, or 9005. In my case, 9001 will move me to profile 1, which is for Brandmeister. 9002 will move me to profile 2, which I use for TGIF. So I'm in TGIF. 
I'm going to do a manual dial private call a private call of 9001 and a quick push to talk. Oops, I didn't do it right. Let me. I'm, 9001. Here we go. 9001. Quick push to talk and release, and the open spot will automatically go back. Let me try it again. Open spot profile one ready. Take just another moment. Open spot connected to Brandmeister 3102. There you go. It connected to Brandmeister 3102. Now when I want to go back to TGIF, private ID 9002. Push to talk. Release. Open spot profile to ready. Open spot connected to MMDBM server. Okay, see, it let me in both ways. And with this setup, all you need to do is a private call 9001 private call 9002, and you can easily jump back and forth without even using the dashboard after you've set it up properly. Anyway, sorry there were some glitches in the video there, and again, I'm just using a cell phone, uh, so please don't hammer me on my, uh, my camera work. It's all about content when you just use a cell phone, and I thought this content was important enough to report because I've seen many, many, many questions arise about this new dilemma with the open spot platform between Brandmeister and TGIF. And this is all kind of a byproduct of the Brandmeister password change requirement. Anyway, I hope that explains it. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at CQ, that's Charlie Quebec, followed by the number two, CQ2, the word meters, Mike, Echo, Tango, Echo, Romeo, Sierra. CQ2 meters, at yahoo.com or feel free to comment below. Anyway, that does it for this video and thank you very much for watching. 73 from K9WLW.